Hello, good day, and uh, welcome to this special training today. My name is Funke Oyende, and uh, today we are making a handbag. It's called a knot bag, K-N-O-T, knot. It's a kind of, it's a Japanese style handbag, and it has one of the handles longer than the other. I'm sure you're going to love the end product. So let me quickly show you the materials we are using. So the first thing is to get your pattern. So this is my pattern for the knot bag. Yeah, I cut it out of an old calendar. So you can see it. This is the pattern. And you can see that one of the... Let me, let me raise this up so you can see it well. So you can see that one of the hand one of the handle is longer than the other so this is a pattern we are going to use to cut the front and the back pieces of the bag then the other one is just this is the base of the bag it's round all right so you may be asking how did i cut my pattern so you can make yours my pattern is i started with a rectangle of 23 inches long by about 15 inches wide that was the rectangle i started with then let's say this is the rectangle here so all i did was to fold it in two like this then you can use your pen or marker whatever then you draw the shape of um, that shape of a singlet on it you just draw it like this And like this okay so you can see it so <clears throat> this is the inner part and that's the other side so next I just shape it I just cut it out you cut out the shape so after cutting it out you have this <clears throat> So what I did was to just cut off, you know, just reduce one part of it. So that is the that's the um, template, the pattern for the front and back pieces. Then the base, you since my base is, is since it's 15 inches wide, so I know that around I'm going to have about 30 inches around. So I now added about two inches because i'm going to pipe that base there's going to be a piping on it and when you pipe it's going to become smaller so i now cut a circle that has a circle of a, that has a circumference of 32 inches so that by the time i pipe it will come down to the 30 inches i actually need so that was how i got my pattern so after getting my pattern i used it to cut out the pieces of the bag i'm using this fabric there is um this four fox four fabric here this is the fabric i'm using you can use any fabric any material you want so but this is the fabric i'm using it's like four so i now use that pattern to cut my front and pieces from the four fabric here is it front and back then because you can see that this fabric is flabby it's not standing so i need something to stabilize it so i now cut, cut the same pattern for my front and back from this material we call it a feta it's a bit stiff and it can stand so i will just attach that to it to my four fabric <clears throat> so that it will stand and i also cut the base for the bag but <clears throat> then I, this is a lining for the inside part of the bag this is a lining so the same size as the front and back pieces and this is the base for the lining so but the base for my bag i cut it from a kind of um, leather black leather that i want to use because i actually want to mix the four fabric with leather so what is there what i'm going to do is that this my front and back pieces i'm going to remove a little bit of it at the base i'm going to cut off a little bit 
and substitute it with leather that black leather so i want it to be a mix a mixture of leather and fur and this fur fabric so that's what i'm going to use so and then this is my piping that i'll be using to pipe the base of my bag so those are the materials we are using so the next thing is to get on my sewing machine i'm going to sew the this is stiffening fabric this uh, material this carpet i want you to stiffen this i will sew it together with this you will see how we do it so now i have pinned the taffeta material to the back of the floor so i will now be sewing it around just to piece the two of them to hold the two of them together so i have sewn the two, the two pieces together so this is the back this is, but this is just one piece okay this is just one piece now the lining will still come on it well the next thing i want to do now is to add i told you i will be removing a part of this front and back pieces at the base and replace it with leather okay so my leather the small piece i want to join to it is just three and a half inches wide and the same 15 inches long so that means i'll be removing three and a half inches at the base from the front and the back pieces and replace it with leather so that i'll have two colors so after cutting out that base that end uh, three and a half you can see it's, it's uh, shorter now so i will just bring my leather and place it on top right sides facing and stitch them together at the base after stitching the first time i will now turn it down and now top stitch it so that it will lie it will lie flat so here is what i have now i've joined the leather to the four and i did it for both my front and back pieces if you like you can do it for only one maybe that will just be the front but i prefer to do it so i want to use this small rope here to tie a rib a bow that i want to attach to the front of my bag so the front piece so as just to beautify it a little bit so i just use it to form a bow and i'll stitch it to the middle of the front on top of the black and um, black and four where they meet <laughs> So what I'm going to do next is to sew my lining and the, the body pieces together. So I will just grab my lining, right side facing, and I will sew the lining to the body of the bag around. But before I do that, I want to attach a pocket, inner pocket to one side of the lining so that I will have an inner pocket so i will just i just grab a small rectangle of uh, lining fabric this one is measuring 13 inches long and six inches wide so i'll fold it into two and i'll sew it all around i'll just leave a small space to turn it right side out so after sewing it around this is a small space i have left so i will now turn it right side out so you just get your scissors or something long and you push you push it in and bring it out through that small hole and turn it right side out so this is what i have so i will now be sewing this to the to one to one one of the inner to one of the lining I'll just place it on top and I'll sew the three sides like this, like this, like this. I will leave the top open. So with the inner pocket sewn in place, so I will now sew it onto the front and back pieces, right side facing. But I will leave the bottom open for turning it out. So after sewing around, 
I will be turning the right side out from the bottom of the front and back pieces. Okay, so this is the end result after turning the right side out and um, stitching the bottom close so that it will not be opening. So I will now sew the right, I mean the front and back pieces together. So I will join the handle at the top, put the long one and the short one, I will join the two of them at the top and sew the two sides. Okay, so after sewing the two sides, but you, you don't sew from the top, from the top of the handle, you sew from, you know, the, from the base to maybe the top level where this place reaches. So don't sew it all the way to the top of the handle so that you don't close the hole where the hand will have to pass through. Okay, so I'm going to drop this now and work on the base of the band. So I'm going to sew the lining and the leather together around first. Next, I will be sewing my piping to the top of the bag all around, and the top of the base all around. So as I get to the end, to the place I started from, so I'll be using a small leather to close the piping. So I just put it underneath, underneath the two ends and close it up. So the next thing now is to sew the body and the base of the bag together, right sides facing. So I'll bring them together and sew them together. So after sewing it round, the next thing is to get a small piece of um, taping material and cover all this around for a neat inside. Then I'll turn it right side out. Okay, so after turning right side out, this is the finished bag. So the way it is carried is that you turn this long handle underneath the shorter one and this is how you carry it. So, I hope to see your own bag. Thank you, Funke Oyende, signing off. Bye-bye for now.